Ever look at ancient ruins like the pyramids or Machu Picchu and just wonder, how? How did they build these colossal structures with stones weighing tons, fitting them together so perfectly you can't even slide a piece of paper between them? Well, today we're uncovering some of those ancient construction secrets. First, let's talk about cutting and shaping. You might think they needed diamond-tipped saws, but the answer is much simpler and more ingenious. The Egyptians, for example, used copper chisels and saws. Now, copper is a soft metal, right? So they combined it with an abrasive, like quartz sand, which did the real cutting. They patiently saw back and forth, letting the sand grind away at the hard granite. For splitting large blocks, they'd carve small grooves, hammer in wooden wedges, and then soak the wedges with water. As the wood expanded, it would crack the stone along the desired line. Simple, but incredibly effective. Okay, so the stone is cut. Now, how do you move a block that weighs as much as a dozen elephants? Forget about alien levitation beams. The real answer is good old-fashioned physics and a massive amount of human power. Ancient builders were masters of levers, rollers, and ramps. They would place logs underneath the giant stones to roll them along. To lift them, they built enormous earthen or brick ramps, sometimes spiraling around the structure they were building. Thousands of workers would then pull the stones up these ramps using ropes. It was a slow, grueling process, but it worked. But perhaps the most mind-boggling part is how they achieved such perfect fits without any mortar. Look at the Inca walls in Peru. The stones are irregularly shaped, yet they interlock like a giant, complex puzzle. This technique, called Ashler masonry, involved painstakingly shaping each stone to fit its neighbor exactly. They would place a new stone on top of the one below, find the high spots where they touched, and then grind them down. They'd repeat this process over and over until the fit was absolutely perfect. This made the walls incredibly stable and resistant to earthquakes, which is why so many of them are still standing today. From the majestic temples of Egypt to the revolutionary arches and aqueducts of the Romans, ancient stone construction was a testament to human ingenuity, patience, and collaboration. They didn't have our modern technology, but they had a deep understanding of materials, geometry, and physics. So next time you see one of these ancient wonders, you'll know it wasn't magic, but the incredible power of the human mind and spirit. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this journey back in time, don't forget to